Alright, let's cruise up here, see how we go, eh? It's not a steep hill, it's just technical, so that's why we're going to go up together. Hopefully you can get some footage of, uh, see him going up. And all the flex and the wheel lifting. I don't think we're going to do it that easy. Simp oh, I'm not saying it's easy yet, bit of wheel spin going on, bit of a plumes of dust. <laughs> Let's see how we go. He's got the rear locker, we've got the true track and the Hilux. Not as much flex usually. Just waiting for the dust to clear to see how we go. We're going to have a lot of flex going on here. This is an understatement. There we are. Now I'm going to try and let the traction control air. Traction control came in, pushed us forward. The wheel spin in the air. Traction's coming in a little bit. That's it. Not too bad. So we're going to let the traction and the true track do the job up here, I think. It's starting to climb, there it goes. Beautiful. Nicely done. True track and the traction together. Did pretty well, I think. He's not a bad driver. We'll just let him drive at the moment until we see something going wrong. He's going up the high side. Oh, are we going to do that? Are we going to... Oh, he's got me thinking now. Are we going to do that? Or are we going to take the technical way up over the rocks? Let's get up this little bit first. Don't worry about the next bit when we get to the next bit. Oi, yay, yay. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What are we doing, Anthony? All right, this looks like a bit of fun if we... Continue straight up here. I think we'll be right. Famous last words. So we're going to straddle this quite a big wash out. We might get some flex and that's where it goes to not to plan. But coming down went really well. Whoa! Bit of sidestep. Bit of a ride. That's what you're here for. The ride of your life. Whoa, we've got some wheels in the air again. <laughs> Beautiful. Right? You want to learn to drive? You watch my videos, right? We're not car wreckers. Like I said, there's things you need, and we're building this vehicle slowly and telling you what you might need and why. We've touched the side steps a bit. You're not gonna get out and do some hard tracks without knocking your side steps around a little bit. So if you're happy with them dented, that's fine. Or if you want some heavy duty jobbies, then you do that. sun in your eyes but it's starting to get a bit messy up here so I thought I'd show you the track. It could be time to go for a walk again and see what's up around the corner here before we get too far committed because at the moment this is a reverse down track so yeah I'm going to go and have a look see what's going on. So we've got a bit of a technical section here it's not too steep but a little bit of fun let's see how we go. I can pick the right balance here get across we're sort of straddling this uh, pile of rocks but we're gonna get a bit flexed up as soon as the traction control of brakes come on that diff really kicks in it starts climbing and launches Right, so that's the issue we got on the uh, traction control and the true track together. All of a sudden it's sort of... And again, I'm going to let the traction control come in. So it's a matter of two foot driving. If you want to do it this way, I'm doing the same sort of uh, stirring it up. But we're going alright, we're getting there now.
don't want to get that front locker in too soon. There won't be much fun left. There's that tow bar. Oh, that's why you take your tow bars out when you go four wheel driving. Mate, where's your boat? Where's your trailer? <laughs> Just damages the bottom of the thread. Then when you need to get the ball out, it makes it a bit harder, but yeah, got the job done in the end. Bit of a technical drive. Down there was the hardest part, but we cruised over it, no dramas. Yeah, in Cobor, there's always another truck with a washout and some rocks and technical, and there's rarely any mud or bog holes, so that's a good thing I like about it. When you're traveling that slow, generally there's not too much dust until a bloody Hilux or something like me starts spinning wheels creating dust. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of the easier tracks. <laughs> well, it was. I mean, easier we used to come down, a little bit of technical driving. This area right here is quite flat. It's like probably not even five degrees. Look at these washouts. Can you even see it in the video? Like, we're going to come up here, but maybe not today because we've got half a day. Our half a day is nearly up. Got a lot of, you know, ruts, washouts, things to, and obstacles we can certainly go around. But if this is the easy part of the track, this is what I want you to think about. Once we get up here, it turns and it goes uphill. What's that going to be like? What are those washouts going to be like? And the winching and the panel damage and whatever, because that's what it gets like here. You really need to have plenty of time in the day. You need a cooler day. It's summer at the moment. We'll come back here in April or something like that, I reckon. Because there's not much point spending more time here unless you've got a lot of driving experience, a good winch that works, front and rear lockers or good traction control good tires good clearance good bash plates good fuel tank guards it's like that at cobor so be warned don't just go i'm gonna go to cable everyone said cable is good because you will damage your vehicle if you're not careful we're at the bottom of all the hills now because my concern is we were up the other end up here and coming down we could easily come across trees down and one of the other tracks just for the record stumpy track covered in trees on one section so um yeah Anyway, I'm just going to keep looking at this and thinking about it for a while. So we've actually been up and down a number of tracks and they're pretty average. I'm going to see about... Uh, I've got to concentrate for a minute, sorry. I'll fully flex now, mate. That's going to get that different things happening, isn't it? Careful those CVs a bit as well. Even though we've got the K on diff drop kit, always got to be careful. That's where the front locker would have been good. We wouldn't have even been there. We would just click the button. So I'm taking this chicken track here. This is what was this called? Soil pit. Soil pit. I'm just trying to think. Should I go up soil pit or not? I can't remember what the rest of it's like. It's been so long, but I'm pretty sure not too bad. And we're just going to cruise up. And when we get to a point where we go, nah. We're going to turn around if we need to or if there's too many trees or whatever so what goes up certainly if we can go up this is going to be a hard one actually getting the ute around between this rock so i might just go offline for a minute <laughs> all right so we got around the tree it was uh only an inch or two away because we had a big rock on the right that tilted me up on the chicken track towards the tree that's there but if you've been watching the videos there yeah, we had one other um track in Tulangi that put the uh yeah we came down we dropped into it and it kind of got the uh, tray because the tray is a bit wider than the vehicle tip that way a little bit for a minute but we've got a fairly flat track so we're all right comes with experience knowing your balancing act and what you can do and what you can't isn't that right which one do you reckon yeah. and you're crazy yeah, even here even here we've got that we're fully flex mate it's crazy these tracks and you just get used to them when you think they're not little bit of momentum so we always do stuff really slow so a couple of different ways to get the true track to help you through was a little bit of momentum a little bit of brakes traction control will do the job as well anyway this is just a yak yak track at the moment saw pit we certainly want to fall in that washout it's about three foot deep so we're going to stay along here I can see this is not a hollow hole so we can cross it here but we're going down this track with a view of keeping in mind that we may decide we want to uh, turn around because we just don't know with the weather that's been over the last 12 months how many trees are down 
But there are some tracks going through, which is why we're going to continue through at the moment. Just about to say in the video, if anyone that wants to know, soil pit going all right, but then we got to this bit. Let me go and have a look. We'll get over this, be a bit rough, but uh, see what else there is after that.